Hello, ho, ho. Ah, it's Christmas Day and you've chosen to take a break from arguing with the relatives to watch me play about with some tat. Can't say I blame you. Well, actually I do. I blame you deeply. But don't worry about that. Let's just watch this video. And it's a good one today, for I've saved what I'm hoping to God will be the best for last. It's One Pound Christmas Cracker Showdown! Dun, dun, do, do. One pound buys you these six jolly crackers from Poundland, or 99p stores, they had the same ones. Each cracker contains snap, joke, hat, and novelty gifts. I'm not going to show you the back, because that will show you the gifts in advance, which will ruin the surprise later. But also, from supermarket giant Tesco, we have Tesco Value. Te oh, crikey. Tesco Value won't fit in the bloody frame. Tesco Value, ten crackers, each containing hat, snap, motto, and gift. Which was the best? Well, you get ten of those, and six of those. So, are the numbers always going to be the best thing? Probably not, because a quick look at the design shows us that the uh, Poundland ones are very pretty gold inlaid things, and these are so utilitarian they could have been produced in Nazi Germany as part of the war effort. Also, there isn't even a bit of plastic in front of them, look, it's just cellophane. Anyway, let's take them apart and pitch them head to head in Battle of the Crackers. Doom, 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 doom. Okay then. Yes, Poundland 99p store ones. Very pretty and quite large. Smaller and astonishingly ugly are the Tesco ones. Anyway, let's pull the Tesco one first because it's currently closer to my hands. Merry Christmas, everyone. Rubbish snap. It was quieter than the bloody cardboard tearing. What do we get inside? Oh yes, straight away with the false moustache. Oh man. You American viewers may not know the joys of the false moustache, and probably never will, because the camera refuses to focus on it. But, um, well, it's a plastic moustache that grips onto your nose and really, really hurts. I don't know why, it's traditional in British crackers. Here's what it looks like being worn. <laughs> Hilarious. Right, what else have we got inside? Crappy red paper hat. Oh, man. This is made out thinner stuff than toilet paper. Also, I think you've got to have a head smaller than a P in order for it to fit on top. Yeah, I'm, going to try, I'm going to try putting that on. It is ripped. <clears throat> Thanks for that. And, oh, go on, we've got to suffer the joke now, haven't we? Ooh, pretty ones, though. And they're numbered. Look, this is number 40. Collect the whole set and lose all your friends. Which players can't you trust in an orchestra? Answer... The Fiddlers. And which part of my camera can't you trust? The autofocus. Anyway, let's go on to the far nicer looking Poundland ones, but <gasps> will they be better inside? Perhaps this will contain a full Porsche Carrera that I can drive around in and go, wee! Somehow I doubt it. Ready for the snap. Snap didn't go snap. Oh, it's made by Skyhorse, though, the ones from the... Uh, um, Build your own crackers kit thing I did. Oh well, let's do it separately. Bang. Right, hat is much larger and nicer, made of better paper. Can I put this one on my head without it ripping? Yes! Fantastic. Here's the joke. Ooh, not nearly as pretty though, look. How do you hire a horse? Stand it? Oh my god, they actually made it using parts out of their own kit. Unbelievable. And, oh, I'll just drop the thing. Thing! Where's the thing gone? I couldn't tell what it was. Oh, here we are. It is a small toy spinning top, look, made of translucent plastic. How utterly delightful. And the very best part of it is the middle bit doesn't actually appear to be straight, so it probably doesn't spin very well. No, it doesn't. It hardly works at all. <coughs> that was exciting. Right, in order to do this scientifically, or at the very least pseudo-scientifically, you know, like all that stuff you see on the telly, let's sweep this to one side and then see exactly what you get in all the crackers. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, I fixed the focus to a point about here so we can have a good look at these tiny little bits of rubbish that came inside the crackers. So far, Poundland crackers are miles ahead. They look better, they work better, and uh, the hats are far better. But now we're looking at the only bit anyone really cares about, the little toys inside, because they're the only bit that lasts beyond Christmas. Well, other than the hangover and the sickness. Right, let's go with Tesco first. They've uh, covered many of the classic cracker options, shall we say. We started off with the moustache, 
And now we're straight into small comb territory. Yeah! The sort of comb you would never put in your hair because they're exceedingly sharp, bizarrely, and would probably just tear lumps of flesh off your scalp. And from there we're on to the classic car that's really thin, and I, I don't know what this is. I've seen this in Crackers a hundred times, and it just befuddles me on each occasion it appears. The Flippy Frog! Yay! Push down the little tab on his bum, and he springs up in the air. Well, in general. Not this one, because it don't work. Into the keyring territory, we've got... Um, this. Uh, it's supposed to be a dog of some type. It looks like a weird cross between a uh, standard poodle and an Airedale, I think, I don't know. I also don't know really where they were going with this. Um, after consulting with various scholars, we've worked out that it's probably supposed to be a candle in a lantern, and not some weird religious icon we're not aware of. And they've got their own version of the spinning top! Hooray! Except it isn't translucent, but it does work, so bonus points to Tesco there. Slightly less standardly, we now have the absolutely fantastic Cherub with a ukulele. Squeal, piggy, squeal. Yes, I don't know why he's only got one leg. Oh, there is another one, look. Just a hint of it behind. Looks like he's going to fall over, though. Too much moonshine, probably. Another Christmas classic. The hilarious Woo bent nail trick. Wait for it. Ooh, yeah, this is so hilarious. Oh, no. I have a blunt plastic nail through my finger. And yet, not really. It was merely a humorous, festive jape. Oh, kill me now. And also, an even cheaper version of the classic false fingernail. I have no idea why these appear in crackers. Uh, this one is obviously far too small to actually go on any human finger I'm aware of. Possibly they just want to give it to small children so they accidentally swallow it. Anyway, that's Tesco's. Poor showing, but a high traditional value, so uh, make of that what you will, because I can't be bothered. And, incredibly, from Poundland, things seem to be slightly worse. First up, slightly scary Triceratops skeleton, where the head's too big. Don't know what all that's about. Seems sort of strange to me. Also, hasn't come off the sprue properly. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that yeah, looks slightly better. But yeah, um, I don't know. It's specifically designed to put kids off archaeology or something. Then you've got... Yeah, save that one for later, you'll see why. We've got a toy aeroplane with wheels. That's just so poorly rendered it makes me want to vomit blood. But don't fear, because we can get the army to shoot it down with their M60. Yeah, daka daka daka. Oh dear. I can't see him getting on with the ones from Toy Story somehow. They're just laughing out of the house. Now, the rest of the uh, pieces are all made out of a soft, squishy rubber, which is quite cool. And bizarrely, three of them came in the same cracker. So somebody would have been a very lucky boy this Christmas if I hadn't have uh, taken it off them. Right. We have Red Squishy Seahorse. Novelty key ring thing. Squish, squish, squish. Seahorse. Red. You get the picture. Then there's a pink one. Presumably his sister. Then, oh, look how sweet this is. It's a little rubber swan. I was going to call it a duck for a second, but I'm pretty sure that's a swan. Oh, it looks like something that fell out of somebody's nose, but we appreciate it anyway. And finally, we have what I think was supposed to be a fish, but doesn't appear to have come out of the mould very well, shall we say. Yeah, it's some sort of mutant thing from a horror film. Marvellous. Thanks for that, lads. So, in conclusion, don't buy any of these. They're all rubbish.